Happy birthday to the Iron Horse. He's a man. The man is on the course. <laughs> He's got saws and all kinds of funky, funky stuff. His life wasn't easy, but you know it was tough. Character don't come from things easy in light of them. Everybody knows you got to like the iron horse. Okay, so we got Germany and Switzerland. Now what those two axes were, what these were friends, just so everybody knows, and again, it's not, hey, look what I did. Don't need it, don't bother, not not me, not, not my gig. Those were random, random giveaways on the live feeds. There was a, a, a guy, George, he's a, he's a great, great guy. He's been here a long time. I've seen his name come up forever. He happened to be in the live feed and I saw his name and I know he's from Germany and I said, hey, you're getting an ax today. Boom, and I gave him an ax. It's just how it rolls here, friends. I, I I just like to do that. How do you think that man felt? He's like, whoa, he felt good. I like when people feel good. I like to do stuff like that. There's no, there's nothing behind it. There's no intent or nothing. The intent is to give, to make a man smile or a person smile. So that was that. We did that twice. So Buddy gets timed out and get this. This is funnier than heck. He, I got something in my eye. He, uh. He gets, he gets a super chat. That's what it was. He sent a freaking super chat, friends. Okay. He sends a super chat and I'm about to thank him. I got to check my eye out, friends. Oh, okay, good. Uh, oh, I better check my fireplace. I, uh, <laughs> he does a super chat and, and I guess uh, Donald Snow, the snowman, hit something and freaking... So basically it's like, hey, thanks for the super chat. You're timed out. And we timed him out on the freaking, it was, I felt so bad. What you, What can you do? It was a mistake, right? But anyway, what we done, and, and I and I didn't do it for just because he got timed out. I just thought, what a perfect opportunity to give something away. So we did, we gave him an ax and it's a nice ax. It's a very special ax. You know what ax it is? It's on the video uh, way back, probably four years ago, five years ago. It was the first handle I'd made with a piece of oak two by four. I think I even cut, I cut the handle out with my power saw. Listen to the wind roaring here. Oh, good, she's doing good here. This is good, I like this. Right. You wanna go out, buddy? Come on, there you go. It is, but people, they like the axes. <laughs> they want axes. Axes are neat items. Lots of people use axes. Lots of people buy axes to be part of this community and support the community and support the channel. I know that happens. And you people that do that, thank you so much. It's appreciated like crazy because I never, friends, look at those trees. Look at them over there. Here comes a gust. Here we go. We're gonna lose power. Could you imagine rocking and rolling up around in there? <laughs> There's our backyard. Oh, well, that's interesting. A dead limb up in that fir tree. That's kind of weird. Well, I hope I don't lose that fur. That's a nice little fur. Anyway, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's good. It's real good. I forget what I was saying. The axes. So that's what we're doing. So I'm shipping axes. And we got Don's Axe. Don, you're here. Uh, Johnny McMillan. And uh, I think this is Jamie. I think this is, yeah, it's Deadwood. Jamie, my brother. Yeah. So lots of that on the go. So then ship, life, other stuff, 
Content is important, very important for everybody. So it's a dance through the day. I'm one man, right? I don't have anybody working for me doing channel stuff. So it's just, I'm just dancing through it. Look what we got, friends. We got axes, lots of axes made. You know what I mean? I'm waiting for some handles to come again too. So we're moving and grooving. Man, I can't believe how much it's it's freaking blowing. Like it's rip roaring. So what we got, friends, is, well, we got lots of stuff on the go. Welcome, Buck and Billy Ray's back at you, coming at you at the Buck and Billy Ray Smith's YouTube channel in the bunker. We're in the bunker. I hope you're doing well. I do. I truly do. I hope you're, I hope you're feeling well. And if you're not feeling well, you do have the choice to straighten it out. You do. You can stay there. There's some kind of payoff for you staying down in the dumps, whatever that is. It does feel good to roll around in your own stuff for a while. I know it does. I've been there. But you can climb out of her too and, and start your day over again. You do have the power to do that. The human spirit is an amazing thing. Now, uh, G-Man, the G-Man. I love this guy. Him and Ann. How are you, Ann? Now, G-Man, remember on the live feed? We did a live feed, I think, and I showed this thing. It, it was completely covered in rust. But friends, it was literally just, well, I've got, you know, hang on. I want to show you because it means something to me. I'm going to have it. I'm, I'm not going to have it. it. It was covered in rust. It looked like something you literally throw in the garbage. But what we've got now is stuff inside, right? Like in the eye. I want to get at it. So my good buddy, Mr. Scotty Gagnon, was so kind, Scotty, and don't tell me this didn't cost you some money and time to go get this sucker. I know it did. Plus with them drill bits, Scotty, that was a hell of a gift. Thank you, buddy. George, old boy. George, G-Man, George and Anna. George and Ann. G-Man and Ann. You know, it's funny about this scenario. George and Ann and everybody who's a part of this channel and who's coming to Buckenstock to meet my family and I. Um, it makes it all of a sudden different this makes this process different because i'm gonna meet Anne and george and we're gonna shake hands we're gonna hug uh we're gonna become friends probably for life because i can already tell that george and Anne are amazing people so i know that there's so many more people like a hundred more thousand people watching there's 94,900 and something now or, or whatever it is now I forget where we're at 94,700 that's where that's what it's at I got the little counter over there okay but and, and I know I'm talking to everybody but when you I, I don't know when you get into something like this and I urge you to do so you have an opportunity to make friends all over the world and go see these people in their own hometown if you so desire. I always say it shrinks the world. Do you know what I mean? It shrinks the world. I love it. Uh, to me, it's amazing. I'm just telling you right now. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'm 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 digging it. Actually, I'm really digging it. So I can't wait. Uh, I honestly can't wait to meet George. G-Man and Ann. Oh, look at this. Oh, dear. See, 
Ouch. This is what I like about this. You can look down, see the light underneath, and see where the actual, where it's hitting, friends. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> yeah. See, and the neat thing about this profile is, friends, look at, I'll show it to you from this way. Look at it. It's a freaking splitting profile. You know it is. There we go. Let's get this here. There it is there. Or is it? There it is. Look at it, friends. Look at that splitting profile. <laughs> it's, a, it's a killer axe. She's a killer. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. Are you guys watching this? Come on, sucker. Two, two. Yeah, okay. Right? These handles from uh, Whiskey River are damn nice. Do you know what I mean? It's beautiful. I'm not, that's it right there. We're done. Yeah. She's a golden brown. Golden for G for Golden George. It's just, it's just nice. I don't want to go darker than that. I love it. Very nice. Oh, forgot one thing. Always do the head too because it spreads it. Makes the fit better. Takes any moisture out. Aha, it's deep. George, I can't believe we're getting this done for you. This. Okay. This is it. Yeah, see? You see what I mean? That used to go shlunk. It don't no more. There's not much space for a wedge in here neither. There ain't. I wonder if I should create some with a wedge or with, with, a, with, a, with a saw. Because look. Oh, George, it's, it's good. It's good. It's real good. Oh. See, this thing was garbage, friends. It was garbage. It... It, I, it was in the dirt, completely rusted and pitted. Do you know what I mean, friends? And now what you get is this freaking gorgeous uh, character barbaric pitted piece of steel that's going to murder wood and still live to fight another day. I just, I love it. That, that kind of stuff, I, that, that, I, I like that. Eh? I don't know why, I just, I just do. I like it. This, this is nice, but oh, it's dead square too. I love these handles. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to leave that and just thin my wedge out really skinny. Because the option, what you can do, friends, yeah, you see at this stage, is you can pop it into vice like this. Pop it in, right? Okay. Nice and tight. You can grab your little, your little tools that you work with. You can drop it in the kerf. And what you can do is ups upside down the saw, right? And, and take some girth out of there. Okay? There we go. Here we got a little bit of sand that off now. Here we go. There we go. I really like it. I really like it. And I love how this fits. 
Th these are actually nice axe heads that are handles. They're made nicely. I like how they come down. Look at, there's hardly any taper. It's a nicely made axe handle. Very nicely done. Let's give this a crack. Let's give it the persuader. Hear that change? That's it. Oh yeah, thud. <laughs> Home free. Oh, see. Oh, George. <laughs> I can't tell you. Primo, primo. Okay, so here's the deal on this stuff, friends. Here, here's where you get, you got to make a decision. This is a wicked fit. I'm just, just giving it to you straight. Look it. Okay. This is where your wedgemanship, it's, it's everything about how you shape your wedge. I've made this super skinny because it needs to be, friends. It's got to be skinny to go in there. Here's the deal. Look at it. This is what they're like originally. Look at, look at how much we changed this. Look at. Here, I'll separate them so you can see. Look at the difference, friends. <laughs> you, you know, I mean, it, it's a lot of playing around to get this right. You can't just slam, bang. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Old Bakken's old school. Okay, there's that. And there's that. This is going to be good. I, I'm praying for... It's going to be good regardless. I know that. But I like to try and get as much as I can in there, friends. You guys know what I'm talking about, I think, don't you? I know you do. I know you do. Let's wipe the glue off the old fingies. And let's let George have a look at this. Can you see George and Ann? Oh, you're dark tootin'. You can, Georgie and Ann, old girl. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. We're just gonna do it. We're, there's no playing around. I'm dropping the sucker in, and we're, we're going for it. I'm gonna give it a little top start. Okay, I got, I got a super good feeling, super good. Look it, we've already gone down a little teeny bit. Here we go, we're getting over to the old uh, super duper ax. George, I got a good feeling. Got a good feeling. Taking the easy way out. Push down on the head. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. See, this is, I think this is the part, friends, hafters. Listen, ax hafters. This is the part where doing 600 or a thousand axes, whatever it is now, I don't know. I didn't keep track. I maybe should have, but I didn't. This is where it makes a difference in this, this game, this part of it, the finishing touches. I'm almost down, but I'm going for gold. I'm going for gold. We're doing it. <laughs> ah, yes. George, you will have the ax. You will have this ax, George. I already know. I've never met you, never shook your hand. I can get pretty much guarantee you're going to have this for the rest of your life and you're going to hand it down to your kids or your grandkids. I can freaking guarantee it. This fit was, I've been at this a while tonight, my friend. I have been. The only thing I wish I could have done, and we may have to go back into the, uh, the live feed to show the head. It's there, George. You know it's there and you can find it for him. <laughs> Right? Our wives are so nice. They help us out all the time, find stuff. Okay? So I'm stoked. I'm freaking stoked at this fit. 
This will probably be tomorrow's video. Perhaps this is what's going on in my life right now, friends. Axes, axes, axes. The weather is complete snot. Like we're, we're not cutting, it's snot. I'm freaking stoked at this. It's not gonna get square. This is gonna split wood. We're gonna go split wood with this ax. I'm gonna give it a swing. You know you want me to, Giorgio. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Nice finish on, finish on the handle. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I wonder what that was. We're gonna finish her up with a little Watskis. And I think what we'll do, just because I can, and I like George and Ann, they're very active on the channel. And uh, indeed they are. Mm-hmm. Yep. Scooby dooby doo. Roopin toopin scoopin, roopin to poopy dooby doo. Doodly roodly poop 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 poop. Okay? That's right. You heard it. You heard it first. Where's my Watka rag, friends? What what did you go and do with it, George? Anne, are you hiding it? You're supposed to help us find things. And those good moods, they can get a guy in trouble. Watch this, friends. Watch what happens here. Oh, heavens to Betsy, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. You can imagine that stuff going in there, what it does to the wood, right, friends? Oh, it's Watka. It's the fantastic... The famous, the Al famous O El Watco. It's Watka Danish oil, if anybody's wondering, okay? That's what I use. I call it Watka just because I'm a funny weirdo. It's not Watco. Watka. It's Watco, okay, friends? Now, don't let it sit too long before you flip it over or it gets dark like that, and you can see it'll leave a mark and you'll just have to rub harder. So just flip it over and get it done. George, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm kind of at a loss. I make a lot of axes, okay? You know this, George. You freaking know this. And you've probably watched a couple get built on the channel yourself, darling. Look at this now. Wow, a freaking Roni. Another piece. And George is just, G-Man's just a one hell of a dude. You are, George. You know you are. I think we know when we're good, people. I think when we, I think we know when we're being good, right? Santa sure does. <laughs> oh, I love this axe, George. See, these are these are my favorite because you take this to the tea party and people go. It's like it's like it's like driving in the parking lot with the old Merc and parking her in the stall and people looking at it going, "Oh dear." What's happening with this fella? And then you pull out and you light him up and you go ripping down the road and it's, everybody's hovered around her. That's what this is. Yeah, she's a hot rod. She's a damn hot rod. Okay, that's it. George, <laughs> I'm glad I got this on the build for you, buddy. I just, I wish we could have found a picture of it before. It was pitted and just rusted to heck. I'm Ira Stoke. This thing's done. Freaking done. Look at the pitting. Oh, I'm Ira Stoke. All I got to do is go outside and crack the top of this off. Fix this off. You guys want to see what's going on with that? I'll play the game. Oh, you're damn right I will. Where are you guys? Well, you think it's some kind of fun and game here? Funs and games? Well, it ain't. That's it. This is what I do to these, okay? So get this, and there's a reason for it. I'm gonna show it to you, and then we're gonna shut this thing down tonight. That's gonna be it, game over, all right? This is what I do, okay? You can see it, okay? See, I keep it like that, and then I taper here because the wood is going through the wood. It's gonna come and hit the corners and take off. I've done it with mine, so I aerodynamic them, okay, like this. So you're coming through the wood and you're rocking and rolling and, and just, you know what I'm talking about, right? Rocking and a rolling, rocking and a reeling, Bob or freaking ran, okay? Don't think you're not, because you are. It's deadly, that's what that is, okay? 
you throw a little vodka on there and it's a dinner party. Straight up dinner party. Dessert's on the way. Don't kid yourself. Look at I just snuck some vodka on it for you because that's the kind of feller I am. Another thing I am is freaking happy to be alive. I'm on borrowed time and I'm going to make every freaking minute count. Every minute count. George, we love you. And well, yeah, just kidding, Ann. We love you too. <laughs> you two have been just ever since you came here and you jumped in the comments right after your dad, your, your husband did. You were in there. And hey, I'm Ann. I'm G-Man's wife. Thank you, Ann. Thanks for being there and supporting your husband in this channel with us. And uh, you, you people are just nice folks. You're just nice folks. And I'm happy to have you here. Thank you for your support, George. A stamp into the post. Probably show up in about five or six months. <laughs> Over and out, George. Be kind, friends. So, friends, I'm sitting here making this video for you, okay? And I'm just caressing. We, we've got sideways rain, torrential storm warnings, uh, you know, red weather warnings and that here. Um, and I'm making a video for you, and it's just about up. And I'm, George and Ann, I love you guys. Um, I want to do, interesting. This thing just kind of, it just hangs around me. It's like it's calling me. Hello? Did you guys see Killinger's new splitting freaking video? The guy, hey, listen, he's a man. Lives in the woods, he does axes, leather work, has a child, a wife, a beautiful piece of property, and there's woods and dead woods standing everywhere. What's he to do? Get outside and breathe deep. Killinger, it was great to see you breathing and deepening and splitting and smacking it. That was good. You started to roll around by when you started not wanting to use that chopping block is when you started to roll. I saw it. I saw it start to go. I love it, buddy. Good for you. Listen, uh, Friends from the Morgans, Mike Morgan and your whole family, thank you for the shout out. I just, yeah, I seen it there because somebody gives me a freaking thing and says, hey, Bucken, you got a shout out. Listen, we're, we're shooting for 100,000 subscribers. And Mikey, I see what you're trying to do, buddy. And I thank you so much. So listen, this is what I want to do. I want to welcome, I want to welcome all the people from the Morgans community coming over here to help us do this. Seriously, sincerely, thank you. What a surprise. Like I just, you know, I got my thing on there and it says, oh, you know, 9,800, 98,900, whatever, or 800. And all of a sudden it's like 300 more people there since like a couple hours ago. Friends, that's, that's support. I just want to welcome you, everybody from the Morgans community and wherever you're coming from. The Laser B Max video. Yeah. Welcome everybody. And thank you. Let's do this. This is great. This family's getting large. I love it. Over and out, friends. Be kind.
and see you tomorrow. Be kind. Over and out.